Hello, you are welcome again to my channel. My name is Blessing Ejechi. Today, I want to share with you how to see into the realm of the Spirit. How you can see into the realm of the Spirit. Firstly, let me start by telling you that there is a good way and there is also a bad way. Don't say you want to see into the realm of the Spirit and begin to practice witchcraft. Most of the videos that I have watched on YouTube here are the practices of witchcraft. When you begin to use a thing to mix with the other and rub on your eyes in order for you to see into the realm of the spirit, you are mostly practicing witchcraft. You may not believe what I'm telling you. Go ahead and do it and you are going to see the repercussions. Everything that you do, every kaya matter, any act of witchcraft that you practice was not ordained by God. And at the end of the day, there are repercussions that follow. These people will teach you how you can see in the realm of the spirit by using certain objects and certain things to rub your eyes. But they will not tell you the implications of what you are doing. Please follow me. I want to show you the good way that you can do all the things you can do that will make you to see in the realm of the spirit in a genuine way. Firstly, you must be a child of God because my message is mostly uh, godly based, Christ based. Anything that is not based on Christ, I do not say it. You can be a Christian. And you can see in the realm of the spirit. If you are not a Christian, you can give your life to Christ, and it will not take long. Your spiritual eyes will be opened. Firstly, I want to tell you that if you want to see into the realm of the spirit, you must first of all believe that you can see. The sight of the spirit or spiritual sight is not the exclusive right of the clergy. It is not the exclusive right of the imams or the spiritualist. It is meant for everybody. God does not dichotomize in the things of the spirit. In his gift, he gives to every man liberally. And you that is watching me today, you have the privilege of seeing. So don't be deceived when somebody tells you that it is meant for a specific kind of people. No, it is for everybody. So, you must first of all remove every form of uh, wrong mindset of believing that it is the right of certain people who are spiritual giants or who are spiritualists. No, you can see. When you believe that you can see, you now begin to work towards it. The second thing I want you to understand about spiritual things is spiritual things can only be gotten by desire. Every gift of the Spirit that God promises everybody can only be gotten by those who desire it. What is desire? Desire is the longing. It is having that inner taste of that particular thing you want to receive from God. Many people pray to God that they need a particular uh, thing in their life or a gift. But inside of them, they do not desire it. It is not possible for God to give you a spiritual gift that you do not desire. Now, let me describe desire this way. Imagine somebody holding your head and dragging you into the water. You, your, your head was placed into the water. And for one minute, two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, five minutes, your head is still there. A time will come that you begin to gasp for hair. Because if you don't bring out your head, you may die or drown in that water. So at that time where you needed water most, that becomes your desire at that particular time. It seems as if you cannot do without that air. That is the way desire works. Your desire for sight 
should be more than food that you can sacrifice your food you can sacrifice your happiness you can sacrifice sex you can sacrifice many things that you feel can give you pleasure in order to get that gift from god when you desire it i'm telling you that god will not withhold it from you spiritual gifts can only be given to those who desire. So the first thing that I would like you to do, if you desire, is fasting and prayer. What is fasting? Fasting is a spiritual exercise that actually uh, makes your, your physical man to become weak in order for your spirit to take control. Fasting helps to subject your flesh it helps to diminish the power of the flesh and control of the flesh over your spirit. When you fast, you are enhancing, you are activating, you are making your spirit man to come up alive. And when your spirit begins to become more alive, that is where you have the possibility of seeing in the realm of the spirit. Spiritual sight is not for those who allow their flesh to control them. One of the signs that you can never see in the realm of the spirit is if your flesh is the one that is telling you what to do. You must come to a time that you walk by the spirit, that your spirit is more sensitive, your spirit is more controlling of you than your flesh. So when if you fast frequently or you put a number of days or hours that you are going to fast regularly, you see that a time will come that your spirit will become more active. And when your spirit becomes very active, at that time, you can now begin to see into the realm of the spirit. A woman once told me about how she fasted for three days. After these three days of fasting, her spiritual eyes opened and she could see even to her walls she could see, be, she can even, her sight was penetrating through the walls of her house. This thing is possible. You can see, don't allow anybody to deceive you. If you fast, God can open your eyes. And when you are fasting, you should also pray. It is also possible for a person to be deceived in the realm of the spirit. The devil can make you to see you. And also God can make you to see but I want God to make you to see. That is the reason why I'm emphasizing the spiritual things that has to do with God. Don't allow the devil to deceive you. When you fast, you can see. But I want you to fast and pray. Don't forget the word of God because when you are fasting and praying, you are gravitating towards God. If you are not a child of God, don't fast. If you have not given your life to Christ, I don't want you to fast because when you fast, you will be empowered by the devil. There is no man that fasts without receiving, the, receiving something from the realm of the spirit. Do you know that even witches fast? They fast for power. Uh, native doctors fast, but they fast for power. They fast that their, their devil, the Satan, will give them more power. Anytime a person fasts, whether a Christian, a Judaizer, or a witch, or a wizard, Anytime a person fasts, you gravitate towards the realm of the spirit. Your flesh becomes weak and your spirit becomes more alive. Then, the third thing I want you to do again is impartation. Not you impacting somebody, but somebody impacting you. Spiritual things can be impacted to you. When you get close to a person that have those gifts you are, you, you really want to have in your life and you submit yourself the person lay his hand on you the, it is possible for the person to impact in you what you are looking for yes it is possible that is why apostle paul told timothy see that do not he said he said do not neglect the gift that was impacted into you when i lay my hands on you when a person that is higher than you in the realm of the spirit lay his hand on you deliberately, you can receive what the man carries. Another way is, even if you are not seeing the person, 
when you gather the person's words, because the words that we speak, they carry power. As you are listening to me, you are carrying the virtues I have. When you believe what I am saying here, the power that comes with the word I am speaking now, when it touches you, you receive it with, with, with faith. My dear, you carry the power that comes with what I'm saying. So when you see the person that carries the gift or the virtue you are looking for, and you listen to the person, follow the person, obey what the person tells you, you may follow from afar. I tell you that it will not take long. The person's gift will be impacted to you. The gift of sight can be impacted to you through uh, impartation of laying on hands or by words of the mouth and also by prayer. Then another wonderful exercise that you can do to see the realm of the spirit is meditation. Have you not asked yourself the reason why almost every religion of the world do meditation? Even those that do not have what to meditate on, they meditate. Because meditation has a way of transferring you from the realm of the flesh into the realm of the spirit. Anything that has the ability to transport you, to take you away from the realm of the flesh to the realm of the spirit, has the ability to open your eyes. Don't practice witchcraft. I am not telling you to break coconut and wash your face with the water. That is not what I'm telling you. When you do that, there are repercussions that come with them. I do not want you to face the repercussions. Now, what I'm telling you is, do the things that is demanded of you by God. Even if you do not see with your two naked eyes or you do not see into the realm of the spirit, you will begin to feel, you will begin to feel the presence of these things. You begin to have a kind of a, a spiritual sensitivity. Your spiritual sensitivity will become more at a lot. You become more alive in the realm of the spirit that even when a demon walks into your room, you will sense it. You will know that there is a strange spirit in where you are. You may not see the spirit, but you are going to know. How did you know? You will just know in the realm of the spirit. You become more spiritually sensitive because when demons come, the environment will change. You know that this presence that is with me in this house is a foul spirit. There are many people that sleep with demons in the same house that they do not know. No, it is not right. This world is controlled by the realm of the spirit. This in fact, you are, you are a spirit being. I do not know the reason why you should not be spiritually sensitive at, at a lot. You are supposed to be seen in the realm of the spirit. And even if you do not see in the realm of the spirit, you are supposed to be spiritually sensitive. There are many people that died out of ignorance. The something, the spirit that we kill them was with them, walking out, walking along the road with them. And they're not, they, they are not even aware that there is a strange spirit walking with them. It an evil spirit comes to sleep with you in the same bed. You are not aware that an evil spirit is with you in the same house. No, you are being carried by the flesh. Bible says, do not live by the flesh because you are going to die. When you live by the Spirit, all these things will become pronounced to you. You will know about them. When you meditate on the Word of God, your spiritual sensitivity will become more at a lot. Your eyes will be opened and you can see in the realm of the Spirit. Then, another thing that I would like you to do is practice it. Anytime that you, you, you see a, a particular situation or condition, you can press in the realm of the spirit. Just ask God what is happening. God, I want to see. Just press, press. Just try to know. You see a person that is passing through one condition or the person is blind. You can ask God, what is the source of this blindness? 
What should I do to help this person? You see your child. Your child is not in a good condition. You can ask God, what should I do? What is the secret of this particular thing? See, my dear, when you begin to practice this thing I'm telling you, it will not take long. You begin to become se spiritually sensitive and begin to see in the realm of the spirit. I know the devil is disturbing this video. I have made this video before, but everything just wiped away. And I pray the Lord will make this video to come up alive in Jesus' name. The devil does not want me to pass this message across. Do not listen to the witches and wizards in, in, in YouTube. Most of them are leading many people astray. By telling you to do this thing and do this thing so that you will see. My dear, you are practicing witchcraft. Don't practice witchcraft. Do what I'm telling you. Anytime you fast, you are gravitating towards the realm of the spirit. And when you gravitate towards the realm of the spirit, it's either you, you, you are gravitating towards the evil spirit or you are gravitating towards the spirit of God. I want you to gravitate towards the spirit of God. God loves you and he wants you to see. He wants you to become more spiritually sensitive. I do not see the reason why you should not be sensitive to see demons, to see what is going to happen, to see tomorrow. Do you know that when you sleep, it's possible for you to see what is going to happen tomorrow? Yes, it is possible. You can see what is going to happen tomorrow. Don't allow the devil to deceive you. Believe that you can see and desire it. Fast and pray. Then look for somebody to impact you. Don't look for fake prophets. Look for genuine prophets of God and you will receive it. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen.